What's going on guys? Welcome to Wall's Campfire Cooking. So again, we are still on the path to perfecting the stock pot. So got a few new ingredients today. So uh, let's get stuck into it and get some feed on. All right, I'm going to start off by giving my hand a bit of a spray. All right, then we're going to come that come behind that straight away, guys, with some beef stock. So I always hit this with two litres of beef stock to start off with. And you can use chicken substitute chicken or veggie stock. Whatever you really want to put in here. But beef stock's what I'm using. Alright. Next. Get yourself a sharp knife or sharpish knife in this case. And I'm going to start off with our onions. Again, as this thing's gonna, this thing, it's gonna cook for about half an hour to 40 minutes, so you don't need everything to be too small. Because the last thing you want are those flavors to kind of blend down to mush. So for your onion, probably just cut them into quarters. There's plenty. Now I've got two onions here. You just want to cut your onions in the quarters, guys. Get those in the pot. Okay, next up, a couple of carrots. And some potatoes, which are one of the core parts. Pretty much any stock pot. So, get your trusty peeler, peel these veggies, and then we're going to slice them up and get them in the stock pot. <laughs> peel up your veggies, guys, and then once they're peeled, we'll get them chopped up and into the pot. There you go. Yeah. Show them the bottle. What you, what's with the bottle? Show them the bottle. There's an ice in the fire. It's a Game of Thrones reference. Yeah. Game of Thrones. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you gotta give me a second to actually swallow it, right? <laughs> this isn't primary school, champ. <laughs> Okay, for that you can have a more. No, so we're limited. You get you're off this time. Yeah, but I can only take. I can only breathe so much before I have to have to take it. And unfortunately. What are you doing? Trying to work out which one was mine. <laughs> All right. Yeah, veggies are peeled, so we're just gonna give them a quick chop and get them into the pot. Now with these carrots, because they're quite small, we're just going to cut these into larger chunks. And this one's a bit bigger so we can cut this into slightly smaller chunks. Once 
the carrots are all chopped up. Get them in the teapot as well. Um, yeah, a few potatoes. Probably into about quarters. So, roughly about that size. It's fine. Now for a potato that's a little bit bigger. Obviously you cut it into small, smaller pieces. So this one probably go down about eight. Now, the additional ingredient for tonight is celery. Mm -hmm. Celery. Now we are switching out from the zucchini that we've been using previously. Going for a bit of fresh celery in now. We're about to lose light here. Small patches now. Light system. Guys. Just uh, don't always cut your fingers off. Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> don't been, uh, using a light long, mate. <laughs> <laughs> well, open your eyes. Mizumo. Strong. Oh, oh, the alcohol's strong. <laughs> didn't you mix it? <laughs> no, I didn't mix it. <laughs> Whoops. Have a seat from celery. You want slightly bigger chunks. As again, you don't want it to be going soggy while everything else is kind of still half cooked. Last but not least, the secret ingredient, my mushies. So the good thing about putting the mushies in the stock pot is the fact that they soak up all that flavour. So these are like little juicy bits of goodness. Now for the mushrooms, pretty straightforward. Chop them in half, chuck them in the stock pot. Now, if you wanted to make this meal vegetarian, this would be, would be, if you wanted to make this meal vegetarian friendly, this would be roughly where you would end here. Uh, and you would substitute the beef stock for vegetable stock, of course. But this would make a nice little veggie stock pot if you didn't want to chuck your meat in. Now, last but not least, our meats. So for tonight, we've got some Some, what are these casserole steaks, aren't they? Yeah. So we've got some casserole steaks, which I'm going to dice up nice and small. And they are cheap. And we've got some chicken breast as well. So this is going to be both the chicken and beef stock, which will give it hopefully an amazing flavour. Alright, so starters, let's get this beef up. So you probably want to cut it. Cut it up into these casserole steaks. Probably want to cut them into three. And then you want to cut them into nice smaller pieces. Now, you don't want to make your beef too big as it'll dry it out when it's cooking and make it very hard to eat once it's, once it's all cooked.
It smells good. Do we have any more mushrooms left? We do. Mushrooms. I just eat these. So good. Good help. Hard to find these days, guys. Hard to find. And I always recommend having a spare potato, something that you can throw at your cameraman when he's not doing what he's supposed to be. You lost something. Beef. Our beef's all in the in the stock pot there. Now let's get our chicken in there and then get him over here. Now for the chicken. Same as the beef. We roughly want to get that. About the same size. Tom board? Yeah, I know. We could have bought our firewood. Again. Oh, I've got firewood. Definitely consider baby wipes as an essential. What did you do before we had kids then? Multi purpose. Before we had kids. We never, we never used baby wipes before we had kids. Well, we never went camping. Oh, yeah, we right. had money to actually do other stuff. You, 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 yeah, you never went camping. True. Camping boring. No one's going to get camping. Jesus Christ. You started the baby wipes idea with the uh, Truck. trucks. trucks. Alright, guys, everything's ready to get in our pot. So now, we're just going to come behind this with a bit of seasoning. Just you, you some... haven't brushed your hair today, have you? A little bit of garlic granules. Sorry, 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 sorry. Hit that with a dash of pepper. And a dash of some salt. And now, let's get it over onto the fire. It's cooked for about, about half an hour to 40 minutes, depending. Now, before we go too far, We've got to prep our fire so we can get that sitting in there nicely. So when I'm doing campfire cooking guys, I like to get two big logs like this and I like to chuck them in, which is where I like to get my campfire oven sit on. Push. Yeah, we'll get him on there for about a half hour to 45 minutes. And uh, then all this bigger. Push, 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 push. Voila. Oh, that smells good. Alright. Coming in. Oh, it's still boiling. It looks that good. Let's give it a swirl. Oh, that looks good. I'm hungry. You hungry? I'm hung more hungry now than I was a couple of seconds ago. <laughs> this is good stuff. Alright, let's get a spoonful into it. Should get more meat. Line up a little factory line in here. Oh, I think I'll get you some carrot, hang on. Get you some carrot. Some mushies. There you go. Get that in there. Knives and forks are in there. How nice. Hey, good to look. Beach, 
Yeah. You don't want that one? Alright. Thank you. 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 No, there's a... Oh, oh. Mm. How good is that taste? Mm -hmm. taste? This is good. If you like to see recipes like this and little campfire cooking segments, remember guys, Dad. smash that subscribe button, hit the Dad. like button, and don't forget to hit the little bell as well. Oh, make so sure you don't get... forget to eat your greens. And definitely don't forget to eat your greens. You didn't want to add that after I, hit, after I said about notifications? Don't forget to hit the notification button as well. See you guys next time.